Chinese nationals living in the U.S. have shared what they claim to be undercover video from a labor camp in China, where their family member died 15 years ago after allegedly being persecuted for practicing Falun Gong Yifei Wang told KTTBFOX11 Los Angeles she was with her now deceased sister, Kefei, in Tiananmen Square in Dongqing, China in 2001 showing their support for the spiritual meditation and breathwork practice which is also referred to as Falun Dafa Both of them were captured and taken to a labor camp, she said but only Yifei made it out alive with the help of a guard, and she and her family were later told Kefei died of a heart attack But after seeing her body in the hospital around the time of her death, the family said they became certain she was tortured, and secret video recorded by others shows abusive treatment of people in the camps, with some emaciated, shackled to beds and suffering from lesions on their faces and bodies Now, a media company called Swoop Films is working to bring the persecution of Falun Gong worshippers in China to light in a documentary titled, Finding Courage Warning, contains graphic videos and images persecution of Falun Gong followers at the hands of the Communist Party of China, which is the founding and ruling political party of the People's Republic of China Has been well documented Amnesty International has documented severe and widespread human rights violations against Falun Gong practitioners Francisco Bankism, Asia Advocacy Manager for Amnesty International, told FOX11 We have documented cases of torture, inhumane practices, lack of freedom of expression, and unfortunately they're sort of out of sight, out of mind in 2008, Falun Gong was listed by Chinese state media first among 11 groups identified as cults, claiming its subscribers have committed many crimes and leader Li Hongzi exercises extreme spiritual control over followers As of at least 2014, according to Public Radio International, Falun Gong as a group had no history of violence or terrorist activities and yet was still juxtaposed by the Chinese state with groups including Almighty God and three grades of servants, which consist of members who'd have been blamed by authorities for at least 20 murders Meanwhile, Christianity Today has characterized the practice of Falun Gong as a peaceful exercise movement FOX11 reported that at one point the number of Falun Gong supporters outnumbered the people in the Communist Party of China, which has been speculated as one reason for the imprisonment and oppression of those who follow the faith Yifei who struggles to mention her sister without sobbing, told FOX11 that people at the camp said Cafe died from a heart attack around the age of 30 I can't even think about her, because when I do, it always breaks my heart, Yifei said I think about when we were young and would play together, she was a brilliant girl The people in charge of the Jilin women's labor camp, however, have refused to show her body to her family for the past nearly two decades Share this article Share in 2015, Yifei's husband, Gordon, went to the labor camp, where Cafe was held to try to get access to the body During that visit he secretly filmed the current labor camp director telling him that he could see Kefei's remains if he agreed that she had died of natural causes You want to see the body? I can do that, if you agree she died naturally, the director can be heard saying in the video, as translated in FOX11's report 
Gordon and other family members of Cathay then reply, You don't have proof it was natural. To put it simply, director, she didn't die of normal causes. The family pressed the director on whether the body was even still there, and the director said she knew it was because she had personally been seeing to the payment made to the morgue every six months. While there, Gordon used hidden camera devices concealed in objects like car keys and watches to record video of people being abused. Fox Le Privacy Policy Ming Yu, a family friend of Yifei, who also escaped a labor camp where he was taken as a Falun Gong worshipper, risked his life to go back in and record his own undercover video during the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. Yu said the man had been arrested for following Falun Gong and was tortured and beaten until he had a stroke. His footage also showed people working relentlessly at a camp, with some becoming so exhausted they were forced to sleep under the tables where they had spent hours working without breaks. Others could be seen severely emaciated and with untreated legions on their faces and bodies. You stressed the danger involved with documenting what is happening to Falun Gong followers in China. If you're ever caught doing this kind of thing, videotaping the details of what's happening in these camps, you would lose your life, he said. The Chinese Communist Party has a quota of people to be killed, and I am one of them. Swoot Films producer K. Rubisek said, We're talking about brutal torture, and for what? For standing up for freedom of belief, something we take for granted. Referring to Cafe, she added, This not someone who died of a heart attack. Last week in New York City, close to 10,000 Falun Gong followers marched to bring awareness to what has been happening for decades in China, with some holding signs that read, Free's sister's body in reference to Cafe. Similar demonstrations have been held in Los Angeles with people holding images of loved ones lost to the labor camps. Yifei and Gordon plan to keep fighting to get access to Cafe's remains, with the goal of a proper burial for their loved one and having an autopsy performed to hopefully reveal, once and for all, what caused her death all those years ago. I wanted to get the truth out about Cafe's death, Gordon said. And I wanted to get her body released. I want to be able to give testimony about the things that happened to my family. The government doesn't follow any laws. I will never give up to get her body back. Dailymail.com could not immediately reach the Chinese embassies in either New York City or Washington, D.C.